Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So earlier today, I went on a little bit of a shopping adventure trying to find the world's most expensive makeup remover. At least I think it is. It's 150 bucks for this makeup remover that we are gonna test out right now on the spot. But let's first go back in time to my day searching for this super luxe item at Nordstrom. I went to the Sicily counter and this is the guy that I hunted down right here. We're going to buy really crazy expensive eye makeup remover that I I have no idea why an eye makeup remover would be so much money, but we're gonna find out. Is it is it eye makeup remover yeah. or is it just makeup remover? No, it's eye makeup remover. But does it also work for your face? I mean, yeah, we're gonna smear that crap all over the place. I think I should get some like L'Oreal drugstore makeup remover and see, you know, let's have like a showdown competition WTF style. What the Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't mean to actually say that. Okay. I'm getting too excited about going to the mall and buying this makeup remover. All right. We're on our way. Tati always gets excited going to Nordstrom. I think it's because she's from Seattle. What? <laughs> I said you always get excited going to Nordstrom. Yes, I love Nordstrom. Thank you. Ooh, this is like the ultimate like selfie mirror. Not selfie mirror. O O T G. This is the same Sicily counter where you got this stuff before. What if she saw your video and is upset with you? <laughs> so these ones are great. You can try it and see what you think. This is called the Gentle Makeup Remover Face and Eyes. It is for all skin types. And I actually asked the gal at the counter, I was like, so, I mean, like, how classy can I be? I literally was like, I need this makeup remover. And um, can you tell me why is it so expensive? And she just kind of looked at me for a second. She's like, uh, the ingredients. And I was like, tell me more. And uh, really, all that she could tell me is it's infused with botanicals. So I don't really know what that means. It's infused with botanicals. It's supposed to be gentle, but a really effective makeup remover. She did recommend that you do a pass on your face with this makeup remover that kind of feels like a cleansing water, and then you still wash your face afterward. Let's just get in here. You do get 10 ounces in here. And it does have a nice kind of little guy right here where you press down ooh, and stuff comes out the top. Um, so you can get a really nice amount on your cotton pad or whatever you are using to remove your makeup. I think that's kind of handy so that you don't use too much and like kind of jump all of it out. Not that you would want to do that because it is precious and expensive and precious. Um, so let's pull out the receipt. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say it was 150? That was an exaggeration. This is 125. So there you have that. Okay. As far as the botanicals, it has gardenia and orange flower extract. I don't know why that's not like really wowing me. I just, I don't feel like it's on your face long enough to really do much because it is a makeup remover and then you're going to go in and wash your face. And I'm not so sure <laughs> about this you guys even though this is kind of like a cult favorite like people love this item they swear by it and we're gonna give it a good go but we are gonna do kind of a battle of the cleansers like right now half my face I am going to take off with the simple cleansing micellar water and then half my face we are going to use the $125 cleansing situation this is not technically called a cleansing water but the first ingredient is water actually believe it or not 
This is completely alcohol free, so that is really nice. I think this one does have alcohol in it, does it? Does it? Oh, it doesn't look like this one has alcohol in it either. So, all right, so let's get down to business and do this. I'm gonna get all ready for battle with my Lululemon too tight headband. Uh, three, two, one, and Glam Life Guru has left the building. Um, lashes just like do so much. Whenever I take my lashes off, I'm always amazed. I'm like, wow, that is like the one thing that like changes your entire look so, so much. Um, all right, I am just going to take a cleansing pad like this and I am going to saturate the cleansing pad. I'm gonna do the same thing with the simple I'm going to saturate this cleansing pad. Mm, it smells nice. This is the Sicily and this is the uh, drugstore. And I always kind of put the base of my hand, like I kind of press it into the cotton round when I'm removing eye makeup and I kind of do a little bit of this so I'm not rubbing a lot, but I'm loosening up the eye makeup. I don't know, I find it really effective. All right, here's the big reveal. Well, survey says they both removed my makeup <laughs> and I just got hosed out of $125. WTF. We're going to go another round. I actually feel like I'm having to use more of the expensive one. It smells better than the simple cleansing water, but this cleansing water is pretty great. I mean, I've gone through a couple of bottles and that's the other thing to keep in mind. With a cleansing water, you will go through it so fast. It is not like a cream that you spend $100 on and you'll have for months and months and months because you use such a tiny amount. Something like this, you will go through that bottle and then you will be sad. I feel like it got all of my eye makeup off. I mean, I was kind of expecting to like just go whoosh because it's, you know, it's supposed to be so amazing. Let's give it one more. Whoosh. Work, work, your magic. All right, now let's see what happens when I take a clean tissue. This side still, oh God, I still have makeup on that side, really? And I still have makeup on that side too. All right, so um, the outcome is this is a nice prep to get your skin ready to wash your face. Um, but neither one of these completely took off all of my makeup. I guess I could do like another pass. But geez, how much product do you have to use to get your makeup off? See, still there. And both sides feel the same. There isn't one side that feels softer. Unfortunately, I do not think that this is worth the hype, the price, none of that. Just go and get yourself a beautiful cleansing water from the drugstore, or you could even get like Caudalie for 20, 30 bucks from Sephora. WTF, what on earth? Why, why, why? Even though there are botanicals, I still do not understand this. Um, I understand the caviar foundation from La Prairie, so do not get me wrong. I'm not like putting down expensive products as a whole. I just want them to really, really wow me. And this one, um, I feel like I had to work really hard to get half my makeup off and I'm still going to have to go and scrub my face with a cleanser at the sink. So this one is thumbs down. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week's WTF. Leave me requests in the comment section below. Let me know what you would like to see put to the test. And if you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.